Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sort of first impression and demo and almost a get ready with me using Graveyard Girls, Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen palette which just came out. I just got it in the mail yesterday. I'm super excited about it. Um, if we open it up, you can see everything in here. Um, I have used this palette for the look I've done today and my eyes because I am going out tonight. So I'm going to show you how I got this look. One thing that I didn't do is I didn't use any type of eyeline, eyeshadow primer. So hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Hopefully I do have really oily eyelids so I will report back and let you know how the makeup looks at the sort of end of the night. I also picked up her two lip colors. So we have uh, Texas Toast and Swamp Family. Oh, I didn't need the lip colors, but I thought, mm, why not, since I'm getting the palette. So the palette comes in this adorable packaging. It does feel sturdy. I know she went on a big rant about how she wants a sturdy feeling palette. Um, so I do like that. And it also came with some looks. A daylight and a night look. So I've done the night look today. It's nothing original. It's just following the instructions that she has down here. And now we can just go through and talk about the colors. I'm going to do some swatches for you so you get an idea of whether you like this palette. My very first impression is that I do like it a lot. I like it even a little bit better than I expected to like it. The thing I was least excited about were the, the cheek colors, but um, again, for my very first my very first impressions are putting it on, um, I do like them, although the contour color or the bronzer color is pretty darn warm for my skin color. Looking at the palette when you first get it, it's like scarily, chunky, glittery looking. But once it's on there, it's nothing too, too crazy. So I'm going to go through and swatch everything for you just on the back of my arm. So starting with hashtag SFS. So that's SFS. Next we have Natural Peaches. Just like a really warm matte color. SFS is more of a, I would say almost an ivory beigey color. Next we have Dogman, which is a really, really warm orange brownish color um, with a little bit of sparkle in it. And again, um, when you're looking in the palette, it looks chunky, chunky, chunky. But once it's on your eye, I've got it in my crease today. It's nothing crazy. It's actually quite nice. So next year we have Big Baby, which is um, kind of the highlight eye color. I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. It's really close to my skin tone. Um... There you go. I'm going to switch this hand and do Sassy Bun. Which is definitely like a gold color. Almost kind of like a peachy gold color. Next to that is Sippy Sippy, which again, it's incredibly scary looking at it in the pan just because of how shiny it is. How glittery. Um, but again, once you have it on, it's... Like I used to have the Urban Decay... I can't remember the one with the gun on it, pistol or something. Um, and that was just like glitter nightmare. But this actually isn't that bad. Um, next is Haunting. Um, the last three colors are, are kind of mauve um, almost violet type colors. And now I'm going to stop and switch brushes. So again, here's Haunting. After that we have Uncommon, which is kind of like a silvery purple color. And last but not least we have Man Cat, which is the deepest sort of brown color. Um, it's brown, but it's also very purple based again. So there we have the whole palette. Alright, so if we stop and switch to the cheek side, um, I'm going to do gator wings. And again, this is one of those just like freaky shiny ones when you look at it in palette. Um, but surprisingly, it's really not that 
um, chunky or glittery in real life. I mean, there's definitely like sparkle in there, but even if you just like sort of bump it around, it definitely like fades out. So I'm really happy. I thought I wasn't going to be crazy about them, um, but like I'm wearing it right now and it's really kind of a nice subtle color. Next, does this thing really work? This one is kind of similar to, like when I first look at it, it's like a deeper NARS orgasm. And if you watch my get ready video, I kind of put some NARS orgasm on because I forgot that it's in the palette. Um, and it doesn't really show up on my skin super well. Um, so again, this is just kind of a pinky color with some gold sparkle in it. And again, it's nothing crazy for sparkle. It's really nice and subtle. Finally, the last color is Sweet Tea, which my only complaint about Sweet Tea is it's really warm. And I prefer, like, it also has a sparkle in it, and I definitely prefer not to have anything too crazy for my bronzer just because I am so fair and so pale. Um, but I am wearing it today again. Um, so yeah, I'll probably keep trying it out and see if I like it. But there we have the cheek colors. So here's a look at my post swatch palette. Um, and again, the brush that comes with it. Okay, so for getting ready, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth Foundation in 115 and just blend that in with my Beauty Blender. After that, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer in Light and apply that not only to my dark circles, but also any blemishes I'm trying to cover up. And again, blend that in with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to set everything with some Marcel Translucent Face Powder. And then I totally forgot that the palette comes with some face products. So uh, on top of the powder, I applied some NARS Orgasm, which uh, adds a little bit of color, but not a ton of color to my pale skin. And I also went back in with some Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in light medium, which wasn't a bad idea because the one in the palette is pretty orange to me. So next I went on my brows with Maybelline Define a Brow in dark brown. And then on top of that, some Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in granite. Then moving on to the actual eye look, I'm just using the instructions for her night look. So I start with sweeping natural peaches onto the lids for a perfect base, going into my crease with dog mand and then blending that out. You can see it's quite an orange color, which probably really helps her own eyes get super blue. Next, I'm applying the dark sippy sippy color to the outer crease, and then of course blending that out. Then I packed on Sassy Bun, which is a really golden color, all over the inner lid and center of the lid. And give that a little bit of a blend with a little bit more dog moon. Next, I applied Big Baby to my brow bone. And on my lower lashes, I used some Natural Peaches and Sippy Sippy, sippy, sippy blended together. And that's what the instructor look, look like, looks like. Um, I do like to go back in with a little bit more eyeliner, so I used my It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in black, which of course I have been loving. I apply that to my waterline and then smudge a little bit on top of my eyelashes as well. Then I actually decided to put some Man Cat over top of that, um, just from the palette. Then of course curl lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Millionaire, which is a favorite of mine. A little later in the video, I do go in with some lashes, like 
previous to this getting ready, I was wearing lashes, and the rest of the video I'm wearing lashes. But um, I just wanted to show off this look with no lashes to start with. Then I'm using Sweet Tea Gator Wings and does this really work on my cheeks, blending everything in. And there is the finished look, according to the instructions for her night look. With glasses, without glasses. Uh, very nice, very versatile. I think it'd be great for traveling for just kind of everyday, nothing too crazy looks. There's a nice mix of warm and the violet colors. So um, I wasn't really going to buy this palette when it first got announced and she was showing it off. But just like my stupid Michelle Phan palette, I love internet. I love sort of internet history, YouTube stuff, super cool. Um, and although I definitely wouldn't recommend anybody getting any of the M Cosmetics stuff from my first impression, um, I do think this Tarte Swamp Queen palette um, so far is definitely going to be something that I'm trying out kind of on an everyday basis. Whereas the M palette I used once and that was that was it. Um, it's just a collector's item now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lip colors. And I'm going to start with Swamp Family. Just because I think for the rest of my day, I'm going to actually use this Texas Toast color, which for me is very unusual. I tend to stick to the red color. So here is Swamp Family. Got a giant doe foot applicator. We'll just swatch that there. application with this lip paint was a freaking breeze. It's a really strange texture. It's actually kind of dry, but when it's on your lips, it's not super dry. It's a super, super matte color, and it's kind of got a little bit of slip on the lips. Um, very easy and comfortable to wear. I'm not too sure how it, I'm not too sure how it will stay in the lines, but again, I will report back later tonight at the end of the night to let you know how I thought about that. Um, it's been about a minute or two now, so I'm just going to do a kiss test to see how transfer is. And actually, not a lot of transfer. I thought there was going to be quite a bit more. Try one more time. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm impressed. Here is Texas Toast, and I'm a little bit scared because I don't do super well with kind of nudie mauve colors, but let's give it a swatch. So strangely enough, this color is a little bit outside of my comfort zone, even though it's nothing crazy. Um, but I definitely am going to keep this one on tonight and see how it performs and stays on. These lip paints kind of have like a minty kind of taste or feel to them. Not that I like, tasted it, but I can kind of smell um, a mintiness about them, which is really pleasant. Again, it's got a little bit of slip. Maybe even a little bit of tingle to it. Um, maybe because of that mint or eucalyptus or whatever that is. Alright, it's been a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and do a kiss test. And again, you can see not a ton of transfer. Um, the way they feel on your lips, I feel like there should be more transfer than what's actually coming off. Because um, it's not a super matte and dry feeling. So overall, I am very, very impressed. I will talk to you guys very soon with my final thoughts for the night. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm checking in. It's the end of the night. We just got back from like this art gallery thing and it was good, but it was so freaking hot in there. We were sweating a lot. The eyeshadow looks really good. It surprisingly did not crease. And like I said, I'm not wearing any primer and I was super hot and sweaty. Um, so I really thought it would like come off, but so far so good. The lips I did have to reapply once. Um, 
and even now it's kind of like not looking super hot. I think I reapplied the lips like twice. Um, so each time it maybe lasted for three hours before I needed to, to reapply. Overall, I would say this palette so far is awesome and I would highly recommend you at least go into the Sephora stores or wherever to swatch it and find out what it's like. And of course, yes, it is a little bit of like internet history with Graveyard Girl and also support your internet. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.